Hey guys, some of you might remember quite a while ago I released a video showing off a Diablo 2 unique item editor that I'd made. Well, I wasn't really happy with it, so I've spent the last couple of weeks designing a new one, which has a number of advantages over the old one. So, first off, it actually displays an image of the item. Secondly, you can actually load items from an existing file. And thirdly it handles all the string tables for you so you don't have to manually add the item names to the string table um, and a whole bunch of other things which I'll hopefully show off in this video so we can customize everything about our items starting with the name so let's just call this test hat so we can select the category that could be anything um, and the good thing about this is it let's you select sort of subcategories so let's for this go with a helmet let's go with a great helm and if you select exceptional or elite this time it will actually tell you what that type of item is called um, in fact I'll just show you some items have alternate images so for instance with this just the item helm you can select the alternate image if you want to use that for your item um, ok so you can mess around with the item level and the required level and another good thing about this editor is it will automatically fill in those boxes for you based on the items uh, level and required level so if you want to you can just add a bit to that but you don't need to worry about it too much um, standard other settings cost color you can also if you want to override the inventory image so we can make this look like the heredric cube if we wanted to and the world image we can set that to the heredric cube as well so yeah let's do that whatever and you can set the sound to whatever you want so let's set that to be the key uh, finally we've got the properties so if we click add property it brings up this window here and we can select whatever we want so it's got a huge list of properties um, for instance plus X to Y to attack rating so if you want it to give you 100 to 120 to attack rating you literally just write that in in the boxes click save and there you go the properties listed with the correct parameters in your property window. Let's add a couple more. One to all skills, for instance. We can rearrange the properties, move them around. We can edit them. Super up to 220. We can remove them if we don't like them. You can basically do whatever you want. The kind of things you'd be able to. The kind of things you'd expect from an, ed an editor, really and then when you're done you can just press file save item select your unique items text file and there we go item saved successfully and then the item is all there in game ready for use so yeah we can also go new item that will just reset the window but then if we want to can reload the one we've just made. So what was it called? Test hat. So here are all the other unique items in the game already. If we go on test hat, accept, there we go. It loads everything back so we can edit it some more. And then if we want to save it again, it will prompt us do we want to overwrite the item that's already there. So you can either press yes and overwrite it or you can press no and make a new item with the same name. So let's overwrite that. Saved. There you go.